Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to reflect an image, a shape, a symbol, something like that, and how to make a mirror image or an exact duplicate reflected copy on the other side. You'll see here, if you look at my little canvas, I've got this shape here that I drew by hand on the left side, and then on this side, I've got an exact reflection of it. So, how did I do that? Very, very simple. Let me show you. Let's go ahead and delete these things and we'll create a nice weird custom shape, something that looks hand drawn so that, you know, it's kind of hard to duplicate. So if I was to show and say, hey, well, why could just draw it the versus the other way and just draw it exactly the same? Chances are you won't because there's a few different nuances here and it's hard to do the exact hand drawn thing twice. All right, there we go. Here we go. So we've got a shape, left click on it, make sure it's selected. Go up to the top, go to object, transform, and then go to reflect. When you do that, it's going to reflect by default at a vertical reflection. So it's doing a vertical reflection and it's angled at 90%. You can adjust this to a horizontal reflection, but we don't really want to do that because that looks kind of weird. Also, you will notice that you will probably want to go ahead and hit copy. The reason why is if you want a mirrored reflection and you want to keep the original drawing or shape, you want to click copy. So I'm going to left click on copy and here. There we go. It's created an exact reflection or mirror image of the original piece. And as I move it over, and I'm going to compare the two, I'm going to leave it so that they touch here at the bottom, the top, everything is exactly the same. That's how you do it. You will also want to note in the toolbar, there is a reflect tool as well, which you can get to by pressing O. And for those of you that really want to go down the rabbit hole, you can click on a shape like this or click on your path, for example, click on the reflect tool and you will notice that there is a anchor point setting. So this is automatically reflecting around this anchor point. But if I wanted the reflect, oops, cancel that, I missed it. If I wanted the reflection to reflect around here at the top, I could move the anchor point to the top and now the reflection would be based on that anchor point. So keep that in mind. That's all there is to it for the reflection tool, creating a mirror image. Thanks for watching guys. Ton more tutorials coming up. Stay tuned.